Hey there YouTube, this is Mayank Tagi and welcome to another video. In this video, I will be covering about TCS and QT registration process and the eligibility criteria. Other than this, I will be covering about the examination pattern. Uh, but before starting all these, uh, let's understand what TCS and QT is. So TCS and QT is a national qualifier test which is conducted by TCS ION. Uh, which is a subsidiary company of TCS and which is uh, basically an assessment company. Uh, this is the responsible body for conducting this examination. And back in 2018, uh, this TCS NQT was known as TCS Ninja exam, uh, which uh, TCS used to conduct uh, to hire freshers. And in similar way, uh, back in 2019, TCS changed it to TCS NQT and through which TCS hires for two profiles that is Ninja and Digital. And for Ninja, the package is 3.5 and for digital it uh, is uh, near about 7 uh, to 7.5 LPA so these are the packages but uh, in this video I am not going to talk about all this in deep but uh, for this video I have taken uh, the few details which are uh, very important to know who are going to apply for this examination first of all uh, uh, let me talk about the advantage why you should uh, uh, take this examination so this course for TCS and QT are going to be valid for two years. So those who are going to be graduating in 2022, they can also register for this exam. And for uh, 2021 uh, graduating students, it's a golden opportunity because uh, from this year, not only TCS, but other companies will also going to use uh, the TCS and QT scores to hire freshers. So that's a great opportunity for the uh, upcoming graduating students. And other than this, uh, 2019 and 2020 graduate also apply for this examination. So if you don't have a, a job or if you want to uh, get a good job and if you want to join TCS, so you can also apply for this and uh, there is a great chance that you can succeed in getting a good job. Other than this, uh, let's talk about the eligibility criteria. So uh, in case of eligibility criteria, there is not that much, just you have to who have 60 percentile throughout your education either it is in high school or uh, your 12th standard or your graduation or if you are MCA or MTech student then 60 percentile throughout the education other than this you can have a single backlog uh, at the time of appearing in examination but uh, there is no chance that they can give you a job if you are having a backlog at the time of joining so at the time of examination you can have maximum one backlog and other than this uh, you can have a uh, education gap uh, of 24 months that is one year gap between your education so not more than that uh, not more than 24 months uh, they will not allow if you have more than 24 months gap in your education and these are the few eligibility criteria that you must uh, uh, fulfill uh, and there is one more uh, that is your age is, must be between 18 to 28 years so uh, these are the eligibility criteria now let's talk about the examination pattern so there will be five sections in the NQT test and the first section will be uh, verbal uh, ability uh, which will be of 30 minute duration and the number of questions will be 24 and uh, the verbal ability consists of uh, some English related problems uh, like unseen passage or you have to uh, find the errors in a sentence or you have to uh, arrange the jumble words so uh, this type of question will be there and then the second section will be reasoning ability and the time duration for that is 50 minutes and number of questions will be 30. And then the third section which is numerical ability, uh, the time duration allotted for that is 40 minutes and the number of questions will be 26. And then the fourth section which is programming logic uh, will be of 15 minutes so, and the number of questions will be 10. So the fifth section uh, that is coding section which is the most important part of this, you have to do well in all the sections but coding plays a crucial role if you are an IT guy or you want to job in IT subsidiaries. So this section uh, plays a cru crucial role and the time allotted for this is 45 minutes and the number of coding questions will be two. So the first problem uh, for that problem, the time allocation is 15 minutes. So you have to do that problem in 15 minutes, but the difficulty level of this problem uh, will be easy one, but for the second problem uh, and that for that problem, the time allocated is uh, 30 minutes, but the difficulty level may vary from easy to medium so you have to keep in mind that uh, you may get uh, a little bit difficult problem so practice uh, well and solve as much problem as you can uh, you can go for the gigs for gigs or you can solve problem from hacker rank or uh, other site whichever you want or whichever you prefer whichever uh, you like to solve problem on 
so there are so many websites or uh, there is one video that i already made that uh, what are the top sites where you can practice coding uh, so you can check that video here and other than this uh, these are the five sections but uh, there is also one more thing that this test includes negative marking so if uh, uh, but negative marking is only for the multiple choice questions if you have questions uh, which you uh, you have to write one word answer or a single line answer so there is no negative marking for that so negative marking is only for those questions who are multiple choice questions so make sure that you select the correct answers and try to keep uh, yourself calm and don't stress uh, during the examination because uh, that may create uh, some chaos in your mind and you may end up uh, checking the wrong answer so make sure that you select only the right answers and one more thing the compiler uh, that uh, provide by tcs or ion site uh, where you are going to have your test so that compiler is a little bit slow so make sure that you uh, debug your code uh, by yourself and check if there is any error and after that you hit the run button because uh, it may take 2 or 3 minute and they this will not uh, be very good because it may you may end up losing time and at the end just try to keep yourself calm and try to solve as much as you can because uh, through this test uh, you are going to get the uh, ninja profile uh, there will be a interview uh, first but yeah if you uh, score very well in this examination then what tcs does the toppers from this test uh, appear for in the next examination which is also tcs nqt but the difficulty level for this test is little bit higher than this and those who qualify that test uh, the next nqt examination uh, for date for that examination will be disclosed by tcs uh, later uh, this year after this examination maybe uh, so uh, if you perform well in this then you go to the next round and where if you perform uh, exceptionally well then you will get an interview for tcs digital role so if you able to manage that then you are have, going to have a good package of 7l make sure that you perform pretty well and practice as much as you can other than this uh, you can check the link in the description to register uh, but uh, let me show you that how you can register for this examination so what you have to do you have to just uh, go to the uh, link given in the description to register and then just hit the register now button so you can log in via any method or you can create an account but it's better to use uh, connect with google just simply sign in with google and then it will ask you to fill up the basic details and just uh, ask you to register so first of all let's agree with this mm, okay i have agreed so just check this box is privacy notice privacy policy and terms of use and just hit okay so now after that uh, it will ask you basic details like date of birth mobile number your residential res residing city uh, residing state and education qualification qualification all that and make sure that you tick the button uh, where test name programming 1 hour so uh, you have to do that and after that it will ask you to upload a photo so fill these details and just hit the submit button so that's the simple process to register for the exam and one more thing uh, i forgot to mention the dates uh, when is uh, the exam and uh, what is the regist last re registration date so the registration uh, started on 26th of september and the last date to register is 17th of october and the date of examination uh, is 24 and 25 and 26th of october and uh, one more thing tcs uh, this year uh, is conducting this exam in two ways one you can go to the ion digital center and there you can appear in the examination and the another way you can appear in the examination from your home so uh, while registering uh, it will ask you that from where you want to take, uh, take your exam either from your home or either you want to uh, go to the ion center and there you can appear in the examination so it's your choice if you are confident and uh, if there is availability of ion center nearby in your city so you can appear in, uh, from there or you can appear in the examination from your home uh, either way it is going to be a proctored exam so there is no worry so that's uh, what i want to share in this video thanks for watching have a nice day